What would it be like if we had no memories? The autobiographical memory is what we usually refer to as remembering. Here, events are not only stored as thoughts, but also the feelings associated with them. This process begins at around the age of three, and always in interaction with others. This goes to form our feeling of self. We know where we come from, who we are, and what differentiates us from others. If we lose our life history, the moments that go to make up ourselves disappear. For those affected, a grave stroke of fate. What happened before 1996 is gone. I'd like to know who I am. Sabina was in her early 20s when one day she woke up and could no longer remember anything. Whenever she looks at photos from before that time, she hopes that something will come back to her. My childhood has completely vanished. Looking at these pictures, I can put two and two together from my imagination, but active memories of that time don't exist. Sabina can do all sorts of things, ride a bike, do mental arithmetic, and she knows when she was born. The only thing that's been deleted, as it were, is her autobiographical memory. For me, the photos are bereft of feeling. No memories resonate. What happened? Have Sabina's childhood memories really been deleted? Scientists all over the world want to get to the bottom of amnesia and better understand the human memory. The Schmieder Clinics, an international center of competence for neurology. Here, both the neurological and psychological influences on amnesia are treated. Olga Schmidt wants to find the biological causes of amnesia. We now believe that amnesia is caused by disruptions to access. Certain parts of the brain and certain networks have ceased to function properly. The contents of the memory are still present, but the affected person no longer has access to them. The neurologist is searching for amnesia's neurobiological weak spots. In an MRI scanner, Sabina is shown emotionally charged pictures. Healthy people would react inconspicuously. Sabina's results show something else. That part of the brain responsible for emotions is overactive. Every picture sets off strongly fearful reactions, a sign that the information is not being processed correctly. One cause could, for example, be traumatic experiences in her childhood. We're currently looking at how to treat such memory blocks with therapies. The goal of some treatments is to regain access by processing traumatic experiences. In more complicated cases, patients might have to relearn their entire personal history. Sabina has been trying for years to get her memories back and time and time again confronts herself with her childhood. She's hoping that the experiences may not be lost forever, but just locked up somewhere, with a warning sticker on them from her brain. Dangerous. Do not open. 
For people suffering from amnesia, only one thing is important, to rediscover their personal memories, for they are the key to their personal identity.